Hello DCS mission editors, hopefully by now you are starting to get the hang of this. In this little mini video we're going to take a look at destroying one of the buildings that are found already on the map. You may have already realised you can add, if you come over to the vehicles menu here and drop down, you do have, um, you've got some armed buildings so on the fortification type if we put one down just so we can take a look. You can see, although this looks like an ordinary building, it's one that shoots back. Hence, in the fortification menu, if we come back out and drop down another static object, in this case, we're going to come down um, to the structures menu and drop down the type. And this is how you get to choose between adding your own buildings in that shoot back and the ones that don't. But we're now going to take a look at how to destroy the actual buildings that already exist on the map and how mission side we can verify whether that's been achieved successfully or not. Let's pick one that's going to be easily recognisable. Um, here we see a cluster of buildings and let's say it's going to be the larger one here on the left. So what we're going to do to begin with is right click on the middle of the building and you get this little assign as menu, that little annoying menu that bugs you almost all the rest of the time. This time we're going to use it. So we're going to right click on that and here you see auto complete some information as well as drawing around it what looks like one of these little trigger zones. But importantly, we get this name here. So left clicking away from that, we'll zoom out. Check this mission out. I'm going to place down an A10C, the new one, give myself as the player and set up a nice easy weapon, something just like a couple of Mark 84s. So I'll just give it a new name there and bombs. Let's put a Mark 84. There we go. So we're just carrying the two Mark 84s. That will do. I'll rename the call sign to the hog. Hog 1-1, one, one, there we go, or Hog 11, and we'll put a solitary uh, waypoint over the target area, drop down the altitude to zero, and if we move in, we'll just make this waypoint really precise, so that's easy to see. So now what we need to do in the triggers is make something happen, and you're all well aware of flags, I hope, by now. So we'll just make it do a simple message, and so what we're going to do on the trigger, uh, let's give it a name building destroyed or whatever you like and the conditions if we come down here we see that there is this map object dead and you see there's only one to choose from and this name corresponds with what we set up earlier when we right clicked on that building if you selected more than one building you'd obviously have a list here and then the action let's just go flag on number one and then uh, flag one mission complete and the conditions is simply going to be is flag true number one and we'll add on a message uh, to all that says building has been uh, destroyed. Let's add again. We've got this delay here. Let's add something like a 10 second delay just so not the instant that the bomb hits. It says building destroyed, but there's a little bit of a suspense. And with that done, let's jump into the cockpit and check that it works. So here we are in the A10 and in keeping with this short and sweet, let's get right on with it. So switching the waypoint over to waypoint one. There we go. CCIP mode is in selecting the Mark 84s. We see the building marked there with the tab hole. And let's see if one is enough. So there we see the Pickle, pulling up and rotate over to the side, presenting the small target. And looks like a direct hit building on fire, but not destroyed. So let's come round for that second pass. Good job we attached two bombs. Anyone would think I might have done this just to practice, right? And... Approaching once more. Pickle. Up we go. Rolling over once more. Bomb falling and direct hit. Now we see on the right there we've got the battle damage assessment destroyed. 
that's not our message. If you remember, we had about a 10 second delay for our message to appear, which is now appearing there on the uh, top right of the screen. Building is destroyed. If you want to get rid of, the, rid of that battle damage assessment video, don't forget you do have the main settings inside the mission editor, but uh, inside your DCS. But in addition to that, you've also got mission side options here. If we come to this tick, you see there's a bunch of options here which you can enforce, which means in multiplayer, for example, you might want to force that nobody can play with labels. So make sure that this is ticked if you want to enforce any of these. And clearly at the lower end here, we've got the battle damage assessment. So you can tick to enforce that and then make sure that they're disabled. In other words, this will force everybody not to see the results. You can force everybody to see them or just leave it unticked, in which case it's up to the individual player and their settings, what they have at the time. I hope you found this one useful. Take care until next time, wherever in the world you may be. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night.